The Moral of Altruism If you are a person who gives to others easily without worries, then you are a philanthropist. If you give more than what you keep for yourself, then you are generous. Whereas, if you give to others even though you are in need, then you have reached altruism. The Meaning of Altruism Altruism is when a person caters for others' needs over his own, despite his needs. He might stay hungry to feed others and stay thirsty to let others drink. Aisha, the mother of the believers, said, Never did Allah's messenger fill his stomach for three consecutive days till he passed away. If we wanted, we would have eaten till we felt full, but we prioritize others over ourselves. The Status of Altruism Almighty Allah praised the altruistic people, saying, Altruism is a proof of the completeness of faith and high morals. Altruism is the way to gain Allah's love and favor. It is the way to achieve bounty and a protection against parsimony. Degrees of Altruism Imam Abin Alaquim, may Allah have mercy on him, sorted altruism into two degrees. The first degree is to favor others over yourself. The second degree is to favor Allah's satisfaction over anybody else's, despite the greatness of turmoil and the heaviness of tribulations. Fruits of Altruism 1. Spreading solidarity and love among Muslims, just as a whole body. 2. Achieving economic independency in society. 3. It helps in giving up all the negative traits like envy, hatred, selfishness, greed, and many more. 4. It leads to completeness of belief. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, None of you will be a believer until he loves his brother for what he loves for himself. Al-Bakari Motives of Altruism 1. The desire to follow good manners and avoid bad ones. 2. Aversion to parsimony. 3. Training oneself to afford hardships and difficulties. 4. Respecting the rights of others and being pleased about their well-being. <laughs>